Hey everybody, welcome to my new video. I've been requested to make a video on how to e install Exposed Framework uh, so you can install ins Exposed Modules on your device for the Samsung Galaxy S6. This method actually works with uh, the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. I know for a fact it will work with the AT&T variant and the uh, T-Mobile variant uh, fairly well. Um, because usually their bootloaders are unlocked and it's not a really big deal to get in there. So, there are a few prerequisites that need to be met. The first is that you need to be on a DODEX ROM. So, you can either do that yourself by DODEXing the whole uh, file system, or you could just download a ROM in which I'm doing. I'm going to use the Twisted 6 ROM because that's personally my favorite ROM for the Nexus 6. So, after that's met, do make sure you know exactly. Uh, what version of uh, Android you are on I'm on 5.1.1 which is the latest for the Samsung Galaxy S6 because the update hasn't came out yet so you need to make sure you download the proper exposed modules and the exposed framework for your device so we're doing this on a computer because it's a lot easier so you can make sure you read all the instructions and you know what you're doing before you actually do it so open up your Chrome browser and I will leave the link in the description. So the first thing you need to do is read everything. Second thing you need to do is make sure you have a custom recovery like TWRP, Clockwood Mod Recovery. That's so you can uh, flash the exposed module. The next thing you need to do is uh, you need to install the exposed installer app. So first just download it and then we can transfer everything to our phone once we're done. But I'm doing this on a computer for the sake of being able to show you. And then over down here you uh, SDK 22 is for 5.1 on but SDK 23 is for uh, marshmallow so that's not the one we want also you gotta look where it says arm 64 right here uh, s6 is a 64-bit architecture so you need to make sure you get this one right here because the latest build is 5.1.1 so this is the one SDK 22 arm 64 for the exposed framework click that and then we'll start downloading and now all you have to do is transfer everything to your phone and I'm gonna meet you at the phone side so we can a lot of the custom ROMs have a multi-power menu where you can just boot right into recovery from the phone or you could do it the manual way by pressing the home button, the volume up button, and the power button from an off position to get into custom recovery. But if you have a custom ROM, you should already have a custom recovery such as TWRP and you should already know how to get into a custom recovery. So I'm not going to explain that part anymore. So. I'm going to boot into custom recovery now. Okay, now that we're in recovery, I just want to let you know that when you do this process, it can take 5 or 10 minutes for your phone to actually finish rebooting. Um, that's because it has to write your whole file system over again. So keep that in mind. So, once it's in your phone already and you have it in your storage, you press install like you would a normal ROM. You find the file which is the exposed right here and make sure you have the right version of exposed for the right software version as we went over before then swipe to install okay and then once it's done just hit reboot system And this is the part that could take a little bit. Okay guys, so now that we're back into Android and the system finally booted. 
what we have to do is we have to go into the settings. Now that we're in settings, we have to go to security. Lock screen and security. Now where it says unknown sources, make sure that's checked. This will allow us to install the exposed installer. Now, in the file manager, we'll just use the stock Samsung one to make it easy. Actually, this is a custom ROM, so it doesn't have it. So, I'm going to use ES File Explorer. You can use whatever you choose to use. If you need, if you need an explorer, and now's the time to get one. ES File Explorer is a great one. So, go into your folders. I have it in the root directory, so it's right here installer. So you click that and press install and should have installed sometimes a little finicky on this ROM. I've ran into this problem a couple times before but it's no big deal just click it again and it should work. And now we're going to open it up. Okay, so now you should pretty much be good. I mean, you're going to want to check into the framework folder. Make sure everything is kosher. But then really all you gotta do from here is now just start looking and downloading different modules. Uh, I'm in a bad service area where I am. I just hit onto edge. You guys can probably see that. Um, and I'm not at my home, so I'm at my other job. But basically that's it. Once you did all those following steps, you installed the framework and now you did the installer just go to downloads look at all the different modules and all the different things you can do with it it has a description a lot of the stuff is some stuff that are already in the ROMs and then there's more stuff other than that too that you can install but from here it's pretty much your personal preference where you want to go with this so just hit that download button and then just go and look for whatever you want well I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope it helped a little bit thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon hey guys thanks for watching the video I have a couple more great videos up here if you guys want to check them out or if you want to keep up to date with all my greatest and latest videos hit that subscribe button right down below